Hey guys, Clean Blade here bringing another Pokemon TCG online video and today we're going to be looking at Evil Tall and Manectric EX together. So let's just jump right into the deck profile. We're going to be running one Darkrai EX, two regular Evil Talls just for the safeguard Pokemon let's say and the Darkrai is just for free retreat. You don't usually use them to attack whatsoever. Then we're running three Evil Tall EX just for Evil Ball and Y Cyclone, your main attacker the deck doesn't enormous amounts of damage just so much damage they were running two manectric to mega manectric it's our energy acceleration why not then we're running one Jirachi X because Jirachi X is really good at this format just get your support or do whatever you need to then we're running one seismic toad if you want to cut like a random receiver later on for another seismic toad I'd recommend that seismic toad is OP OP in this format. It is just super good with Quaking Punch. So if you can do that, I recommend it. Then we're running three lasers, two receivers, just for consistency for the receiver. Then we're running one Scrabble switch, one microphone, one regular switch, four Ultra Balls, three VS Seekers, two Colors, one Lysander. Everybody loves Lysander. Why not use it? Four and four Sycamore, four Shadow Circle, and instead of a uh, Verbing, just because I like having a weakness. Uh, when you verse other Manectric decks, uh, the weakness really gets to you and it really crushes you. Then we're running two links just to make sure we don't skip our turn, obviously. Two Muscle Band, four DCE, six Dark, four Lightning. Uh, I prefer four Lightning over two just because when you need a Lightning Energy, then you can get it basically instead of having to wait for Lightning Energy and stuff like that. So that's the only reason why I run four. So let's just jump straight into a game with this deck and let's see what it got. What it got. What it has, should I say. There we go. What it has. Let's see what this deck has. We'll be right back with the game for you guys. So I got a quick game here. It looks like uh, looks like we're versing a lot of different elements. So it could be a multitude of different decks here. My best guess is probably Night March or Flareon, something like that. They have a tendency to run a variety of different... Uh, which we call it? Uh, Pokemon. That's it. So that'd be my best guess here. Uh, we do not have to mulligan, which is really good for us. It's a plus, and we do get our evil tolls, so that's good as well. We're just gonna start Manectric because why not? Manectric's really good against anything that's flying or anything like that, like a flying Pokemon. Like Crobat and Zubat and stuff like that. So if it is one of those, we're just going to start off and start off with that. And we do get an electric energy. And it is a Mewtwo EX, which I wasn't expecting. Um, and us not drawing an energy here is a really bad thing. And our opponent just forfeits. I don't know why. But uh, we're just going to grab another game. I'm not going to cut the video or anything like that. Uh... This next game will probably be our last game, win or lose, uh, so hopefully we draw good and we win. We do see our opponent playing some sort of strange deck, should I say. Um, we will go first because why not, we all like going first. Uh, we do lead with the Darkrai which is pretty annoying, uh, it's not the optimal start by any means whatsoever. Uh, and then we get a Jirachi on top of that, which is almost just as bad, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to random receiver attach a uh, muscle band to this Darkrai. He does wake up, doesn't surprise me. Reversing Night March, we're probably going to lose this game just by our opener alone. If we would have opened up with like a Manectric or something like that, we'd be in a really good position now. But we didn't, so we do see a town map. And we see that all of his key components are in the deck, so it's pretty brutal for us. We're just going to see it. Battle Professor probably ditch all the lampins out of the deck right away. Maybe an Empoleon too. I doubt the Empoleon part, but a few of them play. And we do just see all the lampins in the graveyard with the Sycamore. Nothing we can do about it. We see the roller skates, but it lands the tails and... I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of his turn. We do see him discard a Lightning Energy and a Sycamore. Probably for Mew. And we do see the Mew with a Muscle Band. Uh, the last card in his hand is pretty obvious if you ask me. It is probably a... 
N or uh, Juniper or something like that. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. Here I am just gonna grab him an electric. We want the energy acceleration as fast as possible. And we're gonna stay in with this Dark Eye just because why not? Um, next turn we can always just retreat Evil Tall and set up a Manectric and the Evil Tall EX in the bench. So that will probably be our go to plan, in my opinion. Um, we do see our, our opponents just erupting on the board, and it's pretty brutal at this point. Um, we do see the switch. He's probably able to KO us already. He's running here and he has 4 or 5 in the grave. So he's only doing 100 damage which isn't too bad. Um, here we're just going to retreat. Random receiver. We get an N. We're just going to play it right away. Going to get rid of the Dimension Valley. And Oblivion Wing. Get a Dark Energy on uh, this Evil Tall. Because uh, the Evil Tall is our best way to win this game, I'm pretty sure. Just because we haven't drawn a Spear Link whatsoever. Which is really, 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 really bad for us. We really wanted a Spear Link by now. So, he he can more than likely KO our Evil Tall. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, all he needs is... Two more night marchers in the graveyard, and we see two more hit the graveyard. So there goes that. That was pretty obvious, in my opinion. Um, yeah, not nothing more to say about that, really. And we do see a battle compressor. Just probably the rest of the night marchers. Yeah, we just see the pump koopaboo hit the grave. So <clears throat> he has one Joltik left in the deck, and. Two pump kaboos, or no pump kaboos left, so that's fine. Here we're just going to attach a DCE Ultra Ball. No, we don't even want an Ultra Ball, really. We really don't want to do anything. We're in a really bad position at the moment. Um, we're going to grab Jirachi, though. And we are going to play our Jirachi for Sycamore. And we are going to Mega Evolve and Y Cyclone the DCE onto the Bench Evil Doll. Actually, I probably should have Y Cycloned the. Whatchamacallit? Dark Energy because we do have DCEs in our hand, obviously. That's probably the misplay right there. To be honest, um, our opponent's taking a really long time to promote another Mew. It, it's pretty obvious that he's going to promote another Mew. He really has no other choice. And we do see the DCE, which is fine. He's probably hitting for... He's hitting for 160, so here we're actually going to... Attach a DCE and we could evil ball for a hundred, but we're gonna Y cyclone this dark energy down onto this Manectric EX. And that's what we're gonna do. I think that's the best play that we could have done right there. Um, he will kill this, which is fine though. Yeah, we do just see it die. That's fine. We're just going to lead up with our Manectric and power it up and power up this evil tall then. So then we can one-shot this uh, Mew. I'm just going to attach a Dark Energy. Ooh, that was a huge misplay. Uh, luckily, we can take our moves back in this game. Uh, here, we just want to grab two Dark Energies. Um, we're just going to put them on this evil tall. Grab our two prizes. And here we can Lysander, I do believe, for the bench meal, but we don't even have to do that. We just see it come straight out to the front, and we do see a certainly Megaphone, which is fine. And we do get hit for 
80, but we will just do this, retreat and evil ball for the game. So this is the power of Mega Manectric Evil Tall. It takes a little bit to set up, but once it does, it just steamrolls everything. So thanks for watching the video, guys, and we will be back in just a couple days with another one. You guys have fun. Check out the other videos, like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. Thanks.